Here are the Pegasus 35 after 270 miles and after being thrown in a washing machine. When I made the video about retiring this particular shoe, uh, I mentioned that it was a relatively stinky shoe. I think there's something about this material that is just extra hot. Uh, the material seems a little bit uh, thicker and a little bit more absorbent and it just holds on to heat. And I happen to have put this shoe through the ringer in terms of the way I was treating it in terms of ventilation after a run. And so it ended up being a really stinky shoe. I had already been thinking about it after I made the cleaning the Ultra Boost uh, triple white video and after the video uh, I made for this shoe and talked about how stinky that was, a lot of you had been mentioning that I should throw these things in a washing machine. Now that's something that has always uh, concerned me, uh, which probably is a surprise to some of you given that I definitely go out of my way to get my shoes wet, running through puddles, running through wet spots almost whenever I can. Uh, but the difference is this. So for example, when you have your phone and you get your phone wet, I have no problem getting my phone wet, like jumping into the lake, getting it in the rain, running through uh, like a splash pad at a kid's park with a phone. Submerging this thing for like 30 minutes is a different kind of uh, endeavor entirely. And so that's not really anything I would do. I wouldn't like go swimming with my phone in my pocket. Uh, my swim trunks have a zipper in it. I wouldn't do that just because I feel like submerging something for a long time is way different than simply getting it wet, even if you're completely dunking it in water. Uh, so that was my concern with putting a running shoe in a washing machine. Uh, in my mind, I'm thinking, if it gets wet from just getting soaked through a rain soaked run or if I'm jumping through a huge puddle, that's one thing. But if it gets submerged, that gives time for the water to get into the like the microscopic crevices in between the foam particles. And then maybe it does or doesn't come out. Maybe it gets stuck in there as the shoe dries out. And so maybe this foam gets waterlogged. So that was the main thing that I wanted to check out on in terms of does the shoe still survive after being put in the washing machine. Uh, I took the laces out uh, when I threw it in the wash, I left the in the the insole in, uh, not for any particular reason, just because I forgot to take it out, uh, and I threw it in the washing machine uh, on uh, with normal 
uh, cycle. So I think that was warm water that it went in with, with a little bit of detergent. Turned out to be a little bit too much detergent because it was still bubbly when I took everything out of there. So after it went in the washing machine, I had to give it another rinse. Uh, but once I let that whole thing air dry out, uh, I relaced them up. Uh, to wear casually while I was back in Iowa uh, visiting uh, my in-laws and the shoes felt super comfortable. I don't know if it was just in my mind uh, or if it was more comfortable than it was before. Something about washing it seemed to, at least in my mind, maybe it's a placebo effect, but at least in my mind it felt like it loosened up this fabric just ever so slightly to make it a really comfortable casual shoe for walking around in. But of course, the whole point of washing it was to see if I could run in it. And so even though these shoes were technically retired in my mind, I did take them out for a recovery run uh, last Sunday, uh, one loop around the neighborhood uh, of my parent, of my in-laws house. Uh, and they did great. Uh, the, now the shoes are still 200. By the time I was done, I was in at mile 285, 200 mile, 286 miles uh, in the shoe. So the forefoot of the shoe felt a little bit, uh, Thin. So a lot of the pebbles that are on those gravel roads definitely was feeling those. And even when I was onto the regular road surface, uh, I felt like there just wasn't a lot underfoot anymore. Uh, but I don't think it has anything to do with it being washed. It has more to do with it the age of the shoe. In terms of where I was feeling anything in my heel or in this area where there's like the bulk of the cushion, um, it felt fine. It felt just normal. So I don't feel like that the shoe was heavy, that any of the water was still in the shoe. I don't like I was worried that the shoe would be like kind of sweating as like the weight of my foot would squeeze out any water that had seeped into the shoe. I didn't really experience any of that. Uh, it just felt like a great shoe. I'm still nervous. Even having done this experiment, I'm still nervous about putting regular shoes uh, it running shoes in the washing machine. So I don't know that this is something that I'm going to do regularly. I know there's some of you out there that do this regularly with your turbos, with your zoom flies, with lots of other shoes. Um, in my mind, it's going to have to be like a foam dependent, uh, experiment. Uh, Kushlon handles things one way. Does lunar lawn handle it differently? Does react or does zoom X handle being thrown in a washing machine differently? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't ultimately care that much about shoe odor that it's something that uh, I need to do regularly or I probably I don't know if I'll test it regularly uh, but it was something I definitely wanted to test with this shoe because it was end of life and um, it's a shoe I've run in so many other times in other models that it's a, an answer that I need I felt like I needed to have in terms of uh, you know, what it made the shoe look like. I thought it did a really great job of kind of rejuvenating it and bringing it back to life. Now this has like five miles of like road, gravel road grit in it. Uh, but the the outsole looked really great, um, very, very clean. And then um, the Kushlon still had a lot of the wrinkles that it has in it. Washing, it's not gonna take any of those out. Uh, but it did clean up this gray um, foam area quite a bit, really nicely. Uh, and they just felt really great to wear as a casual shoe. So overall, I think the experiment was successful. I think you can put a running shoe through the washing machine and I don't think it will affect overall performance later. Is it something that I'm gonna do regularly? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. If you have any questions about this process and what I put it through and what my experiences were, uh, feel free to leave them into the comments. I will love to talk to you guys down there. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?